Yeah. Social media is not real job. No, a job is something that pays you money. Your content creation pays you. Do you make money out of it? If yes, okay. it's a job. You got a job. Congratulations. Or maybe I should uh, leave my bank job and start creating content. They don't understand that it's not that easy. Hassan, Abby, he uh, responded to a viral clip of him comparing the tool of streaming to a real job. But yes, let me a real job can be gruesome. A real job can make you very tired. But a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you. You know what I mean? In the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. Social battery wise, unless you're in retail, unless you're in fucking retail, it's very different. You're out of touch. I'm going to die, dude. There's motherfuckers who are accountants in here and they're misunderstanding what I'm saying. A real job does not expend your social battery in the same fucking way as someone who did a sales job, a real job. Okay. I'm telling you, as someone who did, did both. As a streamer, I understand what he's saying, like the, the social battery. But people were uh, started taking out of context that he was, he was saying like streamer is harder than a nine to five. You know, it is like something that literally triggers people. That if you say, just because a lot of people they don't understand like the concept of what is actually to be a streamer, yeah, and a, a content creator, and uh, how draining it can be. I'm mm. not saying that. It is harder than many real jobs, but they like any job has these very tough things. And I think what Asan here was saying, like in terms of like social battery, you know, it drains you a lot because you're always speaking. Yeah. You're always interacting, you're always engaging. And uh, I, I do for like three, four hours and I get like so exhausted that uh, it gets like really hard for me to communicate with people uh, yeah. right afterwards. So I can't even understand what it's like to be for like these streamers that they do this. 10 to 12 hours of streams. Yeah, it is very draining. Yeah. And also people who do normal jobs or people who are not content creators, for them it is so tough to digest the fact that the word goes behind the content creation. Yeah. It's understandable because they see the shiny part of it online and it seems very easy, you know. But... Yeah, the, the easy part is like they look at us yeah. and they say, oh, yeah, you're just there sitting and you, yeah. you're browsing on the Internet and you're you're speaking to to a camera, to a microphone. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we are doing exactly that, but we're doing that continuously for many hours, which makes it like super draining in the long term. Of course, like they are worse jobs, you know? Yeah, they are like streaming is just another job, and with that job, there is their upsides and downsides. I feel like the the main downside it is like the social draining, and because you don't have a structure, it's like it's very hard to to plan a life around like content creation and streaming. Yeah, or it takes many years until like you build a, a team, or you are like just very good at you know, managing everything yeah. and you have everything structured and all these things, but like, it's so insecure. You always feel like you never do enough. It is very draining also in that sense. Yeah. And also for content creators, it it's a very first time that they're trying. Like this is a first generation of content creation. Yeah. So they don't, they don't even know like how long it's going to sustain. Yeah. There is also this insecurity of maybe it's going to stop after a few, you know, years or something. So it's always a, a very insecure feeling altogether. And it's always a learn. Imp you are always learning. Yeah. Right? You're always learning and uh, there is no leaning back, you know. You'll have to let's just keep doing, keep doing, keep doing. You can't take breaks. I think this job is psychologically very different than any other jobs. I feel like uh, streaming is more easily compared to being a business owner than to have a job, you know? Yeah. Because, like, the, what are the main benefits of having a job? It's like you go, you enter in the morning, you leave at 5 or at 6 or whatever is your job, and uh, it's done. You can unplug, you disconnect, good, huh. you know? streaming on, or uh, having a job like which you can be like very fortunate and it is a very fortunate position you know but it is a always on thing it's like more like a lifestyle 
mm. that you have to embrace. Mm. The same way as if you have a, a, a company, mm -hmm. it is a lifestyle. There, there is no, I go here to, from this time to this time. But what about uh, what about these uh, people who has their own businesses? How different it is from these uh, streamers? It, it, is, it is it is similar. I'll yeah. tell you because most it depends on the of course depends on the business also. But for example, is uh, whenever I had the agency, right? It was like okay, from uh, nine to six, seven, mm. I was in the office. Mm. But after the office, because I was the owner, mm -hmm. I was always on. You mm -hmm. know, like at night, I was checking, I was improving things, I was yeah. working on stuffs. Or the weekends, I was always working. You know, most of the times, but maybe I, I took like uh, like a few days off here and there, uh, especially on the weekends. Like, but these are, I'm talking about whenever like the the, the agency that like five six years in the go. You know, mm -hmm. for the first three five years, like bro, it was uh, like most of the time like nonstop. You know, so. Yeah, I don't complain because I was enjoying, and I feel like many many streamers, they if you or content creators are in the same position that if you can be able to do this as a career, like you feel so blessed in a way. It doesn't yeah. mean like there are no ne negatives, and I also think as a viewer to say, oh, this is not a real job, lol. It is kind of it's kind of weird. Yeah. No, because I will agree. Yeah, it's not a real job. It is like more like a business. You yeah. know, it's a 24 7 thing you never stop yeah you never disconnect and you're also, always on there are also there is like something about doing businesses and all that that the, it's not based on everyday affirmations mm -hmm. it can be like slightly longer affirmations maybe mm -hmm. or validations and all that stuff mm -hmm. on content creation you have to deal with rejection acceptance like in a daily basis, you know? Yeah, no, you, that you is also can a... deal with that. In like, for example, if you work in the customer service, especially like on the store or retail, you, you deal with rejection oh, a, a okay. lot of times, okay. right? Like you yeah, have, yeah, you're yeah. going to have like very mean Cook. customers, yeah. you know? Yeah. And uh, I feel like those are the, 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 the few jobs, like if you interact Mm. all the time it's like you're working in retail and dealing with customers all the time yes it is also a very draining social draining job but yet i still feel like there is moments where you're just in peace whenever yeah. there's no customers or whatever it is but here you always have customers like the chat is always on the stream is always on so you cannot stop so yeah i feel like that's probably from all the things mm -hmm one of the biggest negative sides of streaming mm -hmm. it is like it is always on thing you know yeah so you know but there are many upsides of course like nine hours of of constant performance and yeah. people pleasing taps you out from social scenarios after nine hours of that i could probably do fucking physical labor it would not bother me but i can't fucking do more social shit. That's my point. Yeah. 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 It, it is tough. Even like for me, for example. Yeah. Whenever we did like a, a few streams and did like three hours streaming. And then we went like to my grandparents. I was still like, you know, uh, I was tired from streaming. Yeah. And this tiredness like is so weird to explain. Like, I feel like if you go and you start streaming. It's like mental exhaustion. It is mental exhaustion. Yeah. So there was this point where we were like uh, seriously talking about uh, that we should take another job mm -hmm. while we are creating content and all that stuff. We badly wanted to take jobs which has physical labor. Yeah. Because it's really, really tough uh, if you're draining your brain in content creation. And again, you're doing something which has like you'll have to use your brain power, you know. Yeah. So for us, it was so easy to think to take a uh, any laborer job or any physical labor job. Yeah, so to, something to, to a bit less with. demanding of your intellect so you yeah. can like then save your energies to put like in good thoughts, good arguments, yeah. good commentary and uh, like just basically just make good content hmm. whenever you go live, right? Yeah. So then we can do like a good YouTube videos so we can translate in like more clips, more this, more that. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, 100%. Uh, even though like it's something that I will not want to do, it's something that maybe I, I was considering. You yeah. Know? Like there are obviously real jobs out there that are good comparisons. Service sector, people pleasing jobs would be 
very similar. Those are like, I think, customer service type shit. But like if you're an accountant or if you're even like in sales, my interactions with clients was limited, way more limited than like constantly having to do this for nine hours yeah. with like a back and forth interaction. Yeah, because like if you're doing sales, especially like if you're on on the call, or even physical, like you're dealing with a client, you're mm. on with him for like a few minutes, then you stop. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. dial after, but like you have like this space of you know taking a break. Mm. Maybe you're you're putting something on on a C or CRM or whatever. Mm. So yeah, this is like constant, like very small details that it is. It's like it, on stream is like man. If I can hold my pee for like the next two hours, mm. so I don't leave the stream and I lose viewers, that's gonna be great, you know. Yeah. Th that's how how weird it is the, and important it is for streaming to avoid having like these dead moments. Yeah. You know, like these gaps of time. Of course, like once you grow, you grow, and uh, it, of course now yeah, everyone is human. The, yeah. Yeah. Once yeah. you grow, like, uh, also, like, you can take more breaks, maybe. Yeah. But uh, if you are just starting to stream, it's, it's like, really tough. Yeah. Super, yeah. super, super, super tough. Interaction for nine hours. That's what, that's what, like, sucks your, your social battery and you just tap out after it. Think about it this way. Like, um, you give presentations for your job, right? Imagine giving a presentation for nine hours straight. It's like, after a while, you'd be like, I don't want to talk ever again. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Okay, so... So so w what is the deal with people? Like, why are they making such a big deal about this it? This guy makes shit yeah, up for this. nine hours a day and uh, he, his commute to work is walking to his fifth bedroom on his $3 million. Uh, but somehow a real job is hard... Uh, like I, I feel like like again, like this oh, is this... missing the point, you yeah, know? Yeah, like this tilts me out when people say that, and I can completely understand yeah. where it comes from it, because like they're not perspective, aware. perspective, right? Yeah. And do you think like it also comes like from a heavy envious place? Like, yeah, it does, it does. Mm. So I, I follow this group. It's a group of like a shit talking about mm -hmm. like uh, influencers and all that stuff. Some people just go insane, and you know how people talk that mm -hmm. the. Or maybe I should uh, leave my uh, bank job and start creating content. They don't understand that it's not that easy. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's not, not just coming in front of the camera and doing shit. Like that's the most glossier side you see and you don't see anything behind goes behind yeah, you, the camera. Because you know? like streaming, I would even say, of course, like if you do it for nine hours, like this is draining and it is all these things but bro this is literally the best part of the the the, the job you know like, yeah <laughs> it is it is the it's like going live being able to commentate have the chat all these things like that's like the the most fun part you have yeah. during your day most of the times you yeah know? and of course like uh people like hassan like mm -hmm. uh, now they have grown up and uh, they have proper team to edit and all that stuff yeah so it gets like slightly easier but it's still tough it gets not easier they... but gets harder in yeah. other ways right like it's like is now is not editing or doing the things that we do yeah but this going live for nine hours meanwhile yeah. we can't afford that because that's why know, we stream for two hours that's why we stream for two three hours you know uh yeah. every day but the rest of the time off stream we're dealing with other things. we figure out like content ideas we figure out all these things that you know whenever you're in a more privileged position you can literally just dedicate yourself to stream you can have like a virtual assistant hmm. you can have like these editors you have the whole team like to support him back you up uh, and then get of course gets gets easier a real job can be gruesome a real job can make you very tired, but a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you. You know what I mean? In the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. Okay, again, he's missing the context about what he was saying before. Like, the soul is talking about, like, the social battery. It will be draining. A lot of draining. Like, of course, like, whenever you see, like, these uh, clips, it will trigger people. You know, yeah. it will definitely, definitely trigger people, right? I, I just don't understand, like, people who come up with these things. And they don't try to understand. 
you know no no they and don't I try can... because a lot of people they hate they literally hate they Asan but like I, I was talking about like in a normal sense like mm -hmm. as a content creators a lot of people have this jealousy you know mm -hmm. they are like because they know that they earn a lot of money if they make it yeah and the for them it looks very easy like it's for them it's like coming in front of the camera and entertaining people or providing whatever mm -hmm. and they can't just digest the fact mm -hmm. so uh, a lot of people they have less jealousy for people who are providing financial advices or productivity yeah. people they don't shit talk about those people but if you are into this entertainment industry in content mm -hmm. and other stuff yeah people just shit talk you yeah know? especially like uh yeah entertainment on youtube and entertainment is exhausting Twitch. yeah but uh, okay I, i will say like this thing it's not i, I don't think most streamers whenever they say like these things they are not saying yo my job is harder than yours yeah and i feel like personally i don't even like to really talk about those things because i feel like the the someone that has uh what they call a real job in the real world mm. they will never understand you know mm. they will always think like it is my job is way harder than sitting on the pc playing games or watching or reacting to things yeah and it's fair i don't think you know like what i think is a useless discussion because you will never change that that person's mind yeah. you know because their hobby they're off off uh, off time you know mm. off work is doing that so yeah. for them that's leisure and they see someone doing something they like to do as leisure as a job they will never uh, respect it respect it a, a, to a point until they try yeah until they try and they probably you will know will realize hey man like this is way harder than i actually thought yeah and then they will get perspective but yeah. so i feel like it is a, is a is a losing discussion to try to convince the chat or or anyone that you know yeah. streaming it is hard in some ways yeah and it's easy in another like any fucking job it just doesn't mean and people that say this they are not saying hey streaming is harder mm -hmm. than a real job no, it's just harder in a few things and way easier in another thing. Yeah. Also, like, uh, I wanted to add something on this laser part you talked about. Uh, when, like, uh, when I used to see, like, these content creators, okay, I was like, oh, fuck, they get, like, these free clothes, mm. free accessories and all that stuff. It's not free. And then I reached to that point where I started getting, like, uh, this free stuff initially when I was growing. And then your mindset completely changes. You don't see them as a, okay, I'm receiving free gifts and all that stuff. It's your work and you don't enjoy that much that you enjoyed in your dream world that it, it must be really fun to get like free stuff, you know. It is such a psychological yeah, change, but that's like how it works. Nothing on this world is free. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> and if a brand is, uh, is sending you something, it's because they want something in return, you know. Yeah, and also it's it is the same thing. If it's if you make your habit as a work, it's not your habit anymore, you know. Yeah. And your psychology a hobby. Your hobby, hobby. as a work. Yeah, that. hobby. And your psychology completely changes for that hobby, you yeah. know. And that happens. Like yeah. oh. Also, I wanna add something. Like uh, some people say that the normal like everyday jobs or least these normal jobs are more impactful than being an influencer or content creator. Yeah, in many what, ways. What do you think? Do you think it's it's right? Uh, I it depends on what you do, right? Like if you're an entertainer, I mean, I feel like this. You have more impact than someone in the groceries. Mm -hmm. Just because you depends on the like, depends on so many factors. Depends on like, on your size. Depends on your influence. Depends on what you do. Depends on your message. Mm -hmm. So I feel like in terms of impact, just because you're probably gonna impact more people. Mm -hmm. You know, you see like this with doctors. You know, there yeah, are some yeah. doctors that you know Ali Abdal is a perfect example, right? Like he saw that okay, if per year I see six hundred people and mm -hmm. I can help six hundred people. And uh, over the years, in 20 years, I'll, uh, I'll, I don't know what is the math, but it will be like 12 or 18,000 people, right? Yeah. Around like, so if I keep doing this YouTube thing, Ali Abdal, like pro number one productivity guy, yeah. right? He had a very hard time like juggling with these things. One mm -hmm. thing is like you were actually saving lives. Yeah. 
then the other thing is like you're you changing someone's life. Yeah, but you don't know what is, what you're changing you in know? a way. But is it like fair to say like like when he was a doctor, there was a more pres prestige or more impactful? I feel, I just think like it is one is impacting like millions of people. Mm -hmm. The other is impacting like. You know, 600 people. I, I don't know the numbers, but imagine like a very, like way less than millions. Yeah. You know, even if a doctor is a great doctor, it will never cure or help 1 million people. Mm -hmm. Right. So what he, like, this was a, a, a juggling that he had to do on, on his mind to, you know, at some point, what is more worth for him? Yeah. And they just decided that I feel like impacting millions of people will be better for mm -hmm. overall. And I think it did the right thing because like there's many doctors and being a doctor is very precise and it's very, very needed because without doctors, a lot of people die, you know, especially what the, depends on the, what kind of doctor, you know. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like if you're having such an impact in, in your life and you're impacting millions of people, then that, that's also like very meaningful, yeah, you know, yeah. because probably like, you will just be an average doctor mm. and here... He has the opportunity to impact in a better way, a be like using the best way. Yo, Chanky, welcome to the stream, man. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't know. Like for me, I feel like depends on what you do, depends on your influence, depends on so many factors. But uh, if you get like a big size and you manage to impact and improve the life, like, uh, you know, like even I that was not like reaching like super high numbers, I felt like, man, I was receiving like some messages yeah. like from kids and uh, especially back then whenever I did like the, 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 the kids content, right? Hmm. That, yo, you make my life like better. Whenever I watch your stream, I get so happy and all these things. So you're like making in some ways the life of someone better, yeah. you know? And that's awesome, you know? Yeah. Uh, but but also like if everyone did that and everyone stopped doing the you know the, the real jobs the real jobs that also it doesn't work. So I feel like what works is like this mixture between like the, these both worlds. People that yeah. they like to uh they they want to pursue a career like in, in the digital world, which is very unsafe and insecure and probably like ninety nine percent of them will fail. Yeah. And you have the other side, you know, you're going to have your paycheck. You're going to do the job. Yeah. And I, I will even say this. A lot of people are war are trying to get nowadays jobs that will fulfill both things. They will fulfill like their financial needs mm -hmm. and that they will fulfill like their emotional needs. The way I see a job, it is in this way. Uh, like for me, whenever I had my agency, they fulfilled both because I was very lucky and I created my own job. In a way, right? I was in a very fortunate position. But I remember whenever I used to work for uh, for other companies, it worked this way. My job fulfilled like the, my financial need. Yeah. And then I used to pick up the money. I paid my, my rent and all these things. And with that money, I used to go do a hobby. And that hobby used to fulfill my emotional, emotional. needs. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's how people should see more jobs. And uh, if you have both of them, you're very lucky. I don't think it happens a lot, but I still feel like a, a much better way to see is like, okay, I do this job from this to this time. This is going to pay for my bills. And then I'm going to pick up this money and I'm going to funnel it into having a hobby or something that I really enjoyed. That's what I did in the beginning, right? Yeah. I had the job. I picked up the money. I paid my bills. And my hobby was starting my own company of off, yeah. off work, and uh, and then th this turned out right. Mm. So that, that's just like the way the way I see. But mm. uh, Sunny saying here, is it wild how this completely out of context uh, clip it made it so fast? Uh, way <laughs> it's way to Twitter so fast. I was talking about how much a nine-hour stream it's away at my social battery and how I can socialize after comparing it to my sales jobs before. I recognize how fortunate I am every day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And also, like, uh, I think people should stop saying real jobs and yeah. social media is not real job. It is real job. You know what is a job? Senses. A job is it's something job. that makes you... No, a job is something that pays you money. Yeah. Does content... Your content creation pays you? Do you make money out of it? Yes. Does it's, it pay your bills? Yeah. Does it make you money good? If yes... It's a real job. It's a job. You got a job. Congratulations. If you don't make money, then it's not a job. Yeah. It is a hobby. 
like for us right now like for us right now i mean we still no make some money it's just like not us. it's not enough money to make a living right it does make money <laughs> <laughs> two euros per month <laughs> two years per month uh shanky how are you man welcome to the stream how are you doing how yeah. was your day buddy we were here discussing like this uh this drama regarding uh asan he pretty much you know he got clipped out of context saying that uh hmm. that streaming is uh, is harder than a nine to five i mean i, I kind of i'm kind of curious to know like what is the opinion of others you want to read the chat uh, you want to read the chat? Okay, let me read the chat here. Uh, streamers, when they have to get up 10 hours later than normal people and sit up on the computer for six hours. So, you see? like this, oh, God. This is clearly and will always be the perception of people. Sit on a computer for six hours. It, it's not sitting on computer for six God. hours. No, it is, but it is not like you're just, just relaxing. Sitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like uh, going on, sitting on your desktop on computer, and uh, you are time passing. It's not that. But I also feel like what people forget is like, w like yeah, whenever you are in the top, you are in a very fortunate position. Yeah. But what do you do with the other hours of the day? Most of the times, you're just working some something else. Yeah. You know. And I think, like, if you're starting out, you, like... More this, than the, 10 hours. No, no, no. Uh, no, this is like... Uh, oh, okay. Sleeping for 10 hours. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like you're not going to sleep for 10 hours. No way. You know? No way, Jose. No way, Jose. You know what? I For, for some reason, I also have empathy for these people who mm -hmm. say these things. Oh, 100%. Because I can understand, like, from where it comes from and... If you don't have anyone who is content creator around you, mm -hmm. it is so difficult to understand what it takes to be a content creator. Successful, you know. Yeah. So, I understand. But, so, uh, something uh, I learned that uh, never judge someone if you don't know them. Yeah. You know? uh, never worked a hard day in his life, a full-time YouTuber, but I had GD jobs uh, before. I have... Uh, I'll take the draining nature of streaming over washing dishes. The, the, it's not even the point, man. Like, yeah, he was not even saying that. Like, he was not even saying that. This is, you know, I don't know. It's just like okay. Weird. Some creators stream like sixty hours a week, but when people try to compare it to me being on my feet thirteen hours a day in food service, I get a little irritated. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it is listen again is yeah, like, you know what is this comments about it's like the conversation every time like this conversation comes into play like oh streaming is not a job uh, first of all I feel like this argument it is the most brain dead one second is like saying the streamer is harder than a real job I feel like also is, is, is brain dead you know I feel like streaming in the one to ten, when it comes to to jobs, I will put like is a middle class job, you know, uh, middle class in the sense like imagine like working in retail, like you know you 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 have to be with people, standing all day, all these things. I will say not only is like low paying all these things, but there are also way fucking better jobs than streaming or content creation. There there are. Yeah. You know, like how many fucking managers on like f a certain s startups and all these things like they I'm not saying everyone. I'm saying like they are jobs. They pay a lot of fucking money. Yeah. They can make you like very fulfilled and you have a great fucking life. And you know what? There are some people. And you have security. There are some people they test the mattresses and they, they get paid for it. There are some people they taste the ice creams. And no, they but get those are you talking about content creators. I want to be there. I want oh, to you get mean those the testers, kind of, right? Yeah. I want those, those kind of jobs. Uh, I, I worked several jobs before streaming from aircraft mechanic to office jobs, systematic problem solving, and that. And for me, content create is by far the most challenging of all of them. Mm. It, I want to just read a King David. Wait, 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 wait. I, want, I want to say something about this before we move on. Okay. I, I will say why I can, in a way, agree with this guy. Mm. So he's doing intellectual uh, jobs. Okay. Mm. But they are very specific in one thing and one thing specific. Content creation 
if you're going to do it, like, especially if you're tr trying to do it alone, it's like, you know, like the, there's like the uh, MKBHD and like this uh, metaphor for like the octopus, right? In the beginning, you have eight arms. So you, you do the thumbnails, you do the recording, you, you have to set up OBS, you have yeah. to set up the camera, you have to, to be your uh, analytics guy, you have to be your copywriter, you have to be your, your you designer. Your you are your editor, you are your voiceover you are artist. everything, right? <laughs> yeah. So it is incredibly challenged when you come like to... It's like you're learning eight professions into mm. one, mm. you know? Yeah. But if you're like... Uh, for example, I, I was um, I was I, I, at first I was a designer, but then I started s funneling in depth, like in, when it came like to UI UX design. Mm. So the job gets easier because mm. you're just like funneling into just one field of expertise, and you can start being like really good at it, and that's great. Yeah, you know? massive L take, lol. <laughs> uh, Kevin, David, you read. King David, many streamers, content creators has worked job before currently, mm -hmm. but how many of you all have been a content creator before? <laughs> That's true. I see a lot of people saying it's not a real job. I used to think that too until I did it. One of the most mentally draining and time consuming things I've done. Yeah. That is so, so, so this is the thing, you know, like I think every streamer and a uh, YouTuber had a job, m most of them, except like if you're like a, a teenager and a kid and you, you, you just blow up out of the nowhere and you never had to, to work mm. a job, right? But most people, they did and then they transitioned. So whenever they transition, they know where, they, and they also get way more grateful mm. for having like this new job because they know like most of the times how it sucked like to be in the workforce, yeah. right? The, the, so you have perspectives in both worlds. And this is exactly going back to the point that I was saying, like you not having the perspective of what it's like to create content or yeah. streaming, it is insane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In a successful, sustaining, l making a living way. Yeah. I mean, anyone can start in streaming OBS, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Just run. You're probably not going to have any viewer. No, but anyone can do it. It's very easy to start streaming it is very hard, like extremely hard to stay streaming, to make a living out of streaming. Yeah. You know, those are the two difference, you know, uh, in, uh, and that's just how it is. But there was like a, a, a something whenever Instagram came like a few years, photographers, they were going wild, you know, because they felt like, okay, this is diminishing our uh, profession. A few like the crybaby photographers they thought like this you know oh this is diminishing our profession now everyone thinks he's a photographer everyone has a smartphone has a smart mm. cam a blah 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 you know but uh, others they thought fuck man this is such a great opportunity for me to expose my work yeah you know so I feel like it always depends on which side of the coin you are do you want to see everything in a negative way? Do you want to criticize everything? Hmm. Yes, go for it. You're probably not going to take you anywhere, but if this is how it's going to be, this is how it's going to be. If you want to see things in a more, and have like more empathy and understanding and, you know, perspective in life, maybe try to see and understand what other people are seeing and they are coming from, you know? No, but, but I feel that it's really tough for them to understand because they have never seen what goes behind this, you yeah. know? And also a lot of content creators, they don't want to share because when they share, this happens. Yeah, yeah. It's like you, you, know? you, you can you can share. You can share it like <laughs> yeah. your, your, your personal like, emotions. That, you, you, uh, yeah, man, I, fuck, man. I was editing until like 3 a.m. I'm so drained right no, now. And then uh, like uh, uh, Hasana, we also shared, but uh, you see what's happening. Yeah. People are literally... Yeah, flaming. and yeah. making shit out of it. It's so strange. Donald on YouTube, first of all, welcome to the stream, buddy. Uh, these people are their entertainment vessels. And so, obviously, people won't give a shit about the integrity of their jobs or them as a person. 100%. That's exactly what you were yeah. just saying. You know, like, if... If you come here and you cry about how bad your life is, most of the times, people are like, man, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I got my own problems. Yeah, you know, I come here 
to escape from my problems yeah because you are associated with the entertainers you yeah. know so if i'm going to to a circus it's just an example i'm mm-hmm. going to a circus and there is a clown and if clown is making me sad i'm not going to accept it you know or scared yeah or scared <laughs> they make you scared <laughs> yeah but i i i am expecting the clown to entertain me yeah. you know and that's how the psyche works in this uh, yeah. job also yeah that, so that, i i completely agree with donald i, yeah. I feel like he is right in that sense and um and as content creators you should be very aware about about that fact and the you know what i said the other day now on the stream i was having like a i was interviewing another streamer and i was saying he was talking about like he sees uh, his communities always as friends and friends and friends and friends and i said bro you're not their friend and your community is not your friend as well they are your audience you know yeah and one day you stop doing a good content content that they like that they are they are interested on they will probably move on to another person that will do that for the, for them. Yeah. You know. Yo CJ on Twitch, welcome, welcome man. How are you doing today? So that, that that's how I feel about like this whole situation. Um it's a it's like it's a never uh it will be always a battle. It will be know? always a battle. Because I, until like one of these people who are saying that it's not a real job will have their kids or brother or something doing content creation, mm-hmm. and or they themselves. will see and yeah or themselves and they will see that oh fuck there is no time yeah but but I also <laughs> I have I feel to like learn certain skills and a, all a lot of um a lot of these is uh, also comes uh, from a place of like jealousy in some it cases does, not does. not all not all yeah. cases but in, in some, some cases, cases like I feel like it's like fuck. What are you saying? Like you're sitting on your on 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 your computer, and I'm busting my ass off on the on the retail store or whatever. Like he does, like this very fucked yeah. up job that he hates, you know. So I I think he also comes from from that place, yeah. and I have empathy towards that. But I feel like projecting your your sadness and making like the you know like he could also go to a banker. And they say, yo, you're on your ass and you're just counting bills every day, mm. you know, but they don't do that, yeah. you know, but as a streaming, they, they do. But, but you know what? Uh, I was checking uh, like this uh, group I follow on Reddit. Okay. Mm-hmm. So someone leaked the charges of uh, content creators, what they take. And it was about Instagram. Okay. And some of these creators, like they were literally charging one lakh, two lakhs in rupees. Okay. So it's like $1,000 or euros. Yeah. And... Uh, if you are not into content creation and the process, for you, it feels like, okay, this is not my monthly job. And I go to office nine to five and I'm literally doing the shit yeah, out uh, of my, you know. Yeah, it's like, how it's like how can <laughs> I, if I, because like, here's like the lack of perspective when it comes like to understanding the values and why content creators get paid like $5,000 for like a 30 seconds ad or a 13 seconds reel or yeah. $1,000 for the Instagram post. He just has to do with the reach, you know, and the impact. And people just have to understand if they are getting paid $5,000 is because the company most of the times will make more money. Yeah. If they pay five, they probably will get paid like 10. Or 15. They are making more money. Like yeah, for yeah them, that's why they keep doing. For them, they are saving the cost of whole production of one ad. And they need to hire the costume stylist, cinematographer, yeah. editor, it, and all that stuff. Yeah. And they still don't get that reach, which they get like just paying 2 lakh or $100. Yeah, they get like to that a, authentic... Uh, to influencer. Uh, from the influencer, they get like that authenticity yeah. that a brand usually doesn't have. And so they leverage influencers for that. But I understand, man. It, it is crazy. It it can be crazy yeah. like you bust your ass off you know every day you go you do your job and at the end of the month you get paid like one thousand two thousand three thousand dollars or whatever it is right yeah and you see this guy because in your mind you're like oh it's a 30 it, second it, it, it's a 30 second i can do that i can do that in 30 seconds yeah but <laughs> they don't understand like yeah if you do it it won't matter because you have no following, you have no reach. Yeah. Like there, there's no value in you doing that. Meanwhile, whenever like a B creator does that, mm. you will drive traffic, you'll drive sales, will drive. It has a lot of value, and that's why it's converted. Yeah, and and it takes 
a lot of time and efforts to make a community and to reach it, that point yeah, it's, it takes it's, it takes months and years m- making community is not an easy job you'll have to be a really good salesperson to make mm-hmm. a community you yeah. know uh donna was saying it's really important for people who hard in these niche careers to stick uh by each other because streamers will understand streamer problems but the view of viewer won't yeah 100% yeah. I, i i think that's that, that's pretty much it and uh That's why also like a lot of streamers, um, they they get like to this point where like loneliness is one of the biggest issues when it comes to content creation. P- people don't talk a lot about it, uh, but it is not only you feel like you can only speak with other streamers, you know, because they, like Donald was saying, they will understand your problem, but also. <laughs> Because everyone outside of the streaming sphere or content creation does not fucking understand your problems. And they're like, bro, why are you whining about? <laughs> what, what, what is the issue? You yeah. want to have my job? Yeah. You know? <laughs> so it gets super emotionally lonely uh, because you cannot share. You can't yeah. can share. Like that, That's why they, there's like these, these, these circles and... The, And there are like very few people that can, you can actually share your mm. problems, your mm. issues. And I, I, I can't even imagine like, like you do this with me and you also uh, do content creation. So I'm so glad you do that. But I, I kind of also wanted to see like, what is the perspective sometimes of like how it is for some content creators to have partners or uh, a girlfriend or a boyfriend or whatever. Mm. And How do they see like one was works like uh, a job, you know, a yeah. nine to five job and the other one s- stays home all day creating videos yeah. and all these things like you, 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 yeah, yeah, you yeah. see like how can uh, sometimes like affect maybe negatively. But this problem feels like uh, one of those uh, mothers who are who had like newborn baby mm. and they keep saying that the. Uh, No one finds my problems no, relatable. No, but wait, 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 wait. There's a big but there. Why? The big but is like, if you're a mother, mm. yes, maybe you can only speak with other mothers or the previously mothers, etc. However, the biggest difference is like, because you're a mother, people have the empathy and they will try to understand. Yeah, that must be hard. You uh, know? Yeah. Yeah. A streaming or content creation, bro. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I agree. They even, will not. They will not have empathy at all. Like yeah. that's what. It, that's why all even, this drama is happening. Even like sometimes they won't understand what mother is talking about, but they will show the sympathy and empathy or whatever you know. Yeah. But when content creators say that, people get pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. A son after streaming and taking five hours to watch one video. <laughs> Yeah, man. Like it's fine. It's it's man. As a streamer, also, uh, you you just gotta understand. Like this is how this is how things are. Yeah. Things will not change, and uh, it is what it is, man. Just keep doing your own shit. 